I'm Christina, and, and we're, we're the Gordon Skeeks, and we're here today to talk about The Hunger Games, number one movie in America, the next big movie franchise, and it deserves to be. It deserves to be. That movie was epically amazing. I know, um, I don't know if a lot of people are doing this, but because it's a young adult popular novel, it's like com people c are comparing it to Twilight, even though it has nothing to do with it. Kidding me? Seriously? What? Do no, I'm not write? saying, like, I just the fact that here comes another teen drama, especially if you don't know anything of, about it, people, you know, are like, well, here's the next new one. But, you know, it is, like, totally outclasses. No, I mean, this movie... It's totally outclasses. You can write so many thesis papers. <laughs> it's a great story. Um, story. Like, it's, it's a great story. Like, it's 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 insane. Like, there's so many different things. First of all, like, the beginning, the opening, it kind of made me feel like I was watching... You know, kind of like if you're watching a movie about the Holocaust. Yes, because I, I said that first in the car, but yes. Yeah, you did. <laughs> like, but I was thinking the same thing in the theater, you know. But when I was seeing it, because, you know... The, the tension, the drama, the sadness, and you're watching these characters, you're being set up to really like them, but you know they're supposed to die. Yeah, and so it's just... Yeah, even even in the beginning, they're, they're so poor, and the, their clothing, and just kind of look like, you know, it was an era back in time. Selling brooches and buttons. And, and taking these children away from their families. It's hard, hard to get, line up hard to get food, and, and just everything it just soldiers all around controlling situations like I was totally thinking about like Holocaust and, and you know and, 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 and the camps and everything and it was just like like from straight from the beginning I was like emotionally involved with the movie and that's what sets it apart from everything like I have and not I, Jennifer I just for Lawrence was I'm just gonna say epically amazing with even the the moments when she said nothing and she just looks so distraught. Like she she um decided to go into the Hunger Games, um, which the government basically it's a punishment for the people to keep them in fear and check and to say, We're gonna take your children, they have to compete and fight to the death. And we're gonna do this every year. They tell the people it's for peace. It's a way to offer up. You're offering up a sacrifice for peace, which is just a way to remember um, the the, your, the sins of the past, basically. But it's basically to keep them in check, keep them in fear, give them a little sliver of hope, but not too much. And uh, yeah, it's just. And so when oh, she she her little sister was called to be in the games she she volunteered so she could go in instead of her sister and just when she said goodbye when she was walking you know leaving the um her district just everything about those silent moments when she didn't even have to say a word was just so powerful in her performance i was talking to a coworker. So i'm not gonna i'm not gonna try and fake the funk i i haven't read the books no. i i didn't know anything about the hunger games matter of fact i think the first time i really paid attention to it was probably on comicmovie.com where i was watching face off and they said that glenn hetrick was working on was the head guy for the um, Hunger Games, which, by the way, good job on the makeup. <laughs> yeah, I the movie glass. I, I love Face Off, and I kept hearing <laughs> these people, V. Neil, Glenn Hetrick, and and Connor, who won last year. Yeah. They're working on this film, and I'm like, okay. I but I, I kept seeing previews, and she's in the woods, and I'm like, what is well, this? What about? do they need all these big makeup for? And then, cause cause I didn't know anything about it. So when they got to the city, and you saw these people with this crazy elaborate kooky kind of makeup yeah and it was like oh, oh and then there were a couple of moments there were two moments that two moments you know what i'm talking about where you just saw like i saw some of the most amazing uh painting skills blending yeah. painting skills it was crazy it was just, like blew my mind but um so yeah we have not read the book and I, I was talking to somebody today who did and i asked them how they liked the movie and they said they really really enjoyed it they said there were a few moments in the book that weren't in there that they wished that they were she's like but it was still good i'm just like what else could have been missing to make to you know to you know to add on to the you know the story because or to explain something like i i totally got it and uh I, yeah, I'm kind of curious, um, but that that movie just like emotionally, I was just drained. 
<laughs> I was just, oh my gosh. I, I'm just so affected by seeing children hurt and the fact that they had to kill one another. And oh my gosh. From the get go, even though you knew this was happening, was set up, they totally had psycho kids who were raised to do this. And they they were raised to do this, and then they volunteered to get in the Hunger Games to fight for honor and glory. It's just nonsense kind of like that one of the higher of districts would win because they have these fighters and they're like psychopaths. But what, from from jump when it starts, it's just slaughter, and it's like it's so hard to kind of watch. And you're just like, I can't believe I'm watching this right now. <laughs> yeah, like it was mind blowing, and I have to point out one particular kid. I don't remember her name in the movie, but when I was watching it, I was like, this little girl with the knives is the most psychotic child actor I've ever seen in my life, and she's out acting every other psycho person that there is. And then later on, my sisters informed me this is the same little chick from the orphan. And I'm like, that makes so much I wanted to lean over and say to my baby sister, like, this girl cheat. You know she adult, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't want to, you know, I won't really like to talk during the movie. And, you know, it distracts. But, um, it was, it was so good. Um, Josh Hutcherson was, was really, really good. Even from the moment they called his name for the Hunger Game, he looked like, I don't, I don't know, like. He looked like I'm, he was about to pass out. Yeah, like, he looked like he was about out. to pass out. But it, because he just, I guess he just figured he was going to die. But even, you find out later, uh, that even if he, he kind of didn't want to survive, really. Because at, at, there's very, you know, things at stake. And, um, Liam Hemsworth was also in the film. I thought he was going to be a part of the Hunger Games, where it was going to go, but uh, that's not what happened. I was kind of waiting for him to break into the dome and kind of like help save her or something like that. I didn't know, but I, I mean, I knew he play, I, he had this big part, but to me he didn't play that big part, but I didn't know that there was more books and everything. Like, I'm so far behind. I know it's bad, but still. Well, you know what? This is, I knew what was going to happen. Well, I read the first Twilight book before I saw the movie, and then I know what's going to happen with the rest of them, so, um, I'm just using an example. So, I, I mean, I knew it was going to happen, but this movie, I knew didn't know a thing was going to happen, so I'm watching it anxious, anxiously, and, and I'm on the edge of my seat, kind of like, what is going to happen? Who is going to survive? Because you figure, I mean, you want your hero to be successful, but you know it could easily be a tragedy. Right. And I'm like, and even, I know that there's a sequel, I don't know that the sequel, you don't know that the sequel... Well, I guess if you do, you do. But um, does it have the same kids in there? Is it a bunch of different about a different group of kids? Because these games continue, you know. So um, who's going to survive in the end? And it's a really big question. And I just didn't know how it was going to play out. And I was. I was suggesting I was trapped inside this movie. I was so engrossed in it. Yeah, I. Man, like I said, I was just mm, into it. <laughs> And you know, it was funny because we went on Friday and we were in this movie theater and it was packed with these teenagers and we could tell that 75% of them read the book because they were just clapping and applauding at odd moments throughout the movie and laughing at, and, and saying, ah, at certain lines that were spoken. So I'm pretty sure, but based on that, so I'm thinking, well, maybe that other people who have read the books would really like the movie as well, because I haven't really heard anybody bash it that has, um, that has read it yet, so, but people are loving it because everybody's talking about it, you turn on the radio, they're talking about it, turn on the TV, they're talking about it, and how, you know, the thing about this movie is that, you know, they don't really make a lot of movies now that can just touch you on all these different areas. There was humor in it, you know, but there's this tragedy, there's a sense of dread throughout the entire movie, and I just haven't, I, I can't recall a movie in the past couple of years where I felt all those emotions in one I, movie. I don't think there's a movie quite like this at all. But, but you, well, you know what, one of, those, one of the things is, is that Hollywood doesn't really kill children. And if they do, it's like one in the thing, or... Maybe that's the thing of the past. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, equal rights. But still, but still, <laughs> but still, you know, it's not something that's common. Usually, if, you know, if, if a child dies, I feel like that's the most tragic 
thing in the movie or TV show or whatever. And here you have all these kids. You have 24 kids that are killing each other. And so um, it's, it's really hard. My dad said he, he's, he doesn't want to see it because he doesn't want to see children kill children. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have to say, there, were, there, was, there was one moment, like, I wanted to get up. I was so mad. I wanted to get up and walk out the theater because I was so rooting for this person. And then they got the axe, and I was so upset. I was so upset. And so, um, yeah, I, I don't like watching kids die either but I will watch a sequel to this it movie was, see it what happens it was a great movie and everything about it was so stellar you know the beginning kind of like I, I don't want to say it was slow it was, it was paced well but it just it was building up this tension and this emotion and everything was just appropriated you know properly for you know I don't, I don't the situation. I don't know how the academy feels about movies like this or whatever but I, I'm, I think Jennifer Lawrence deserves she deserves a lot she deserves something <laughs> of awards for her acting in this movie like every little thing she did every little movement every every word that was spoken she just acted her butt off and it was it was just yeah. for like the first 20 minutes <laughs> of the film that was really when you felt that impact and it was just stellar. It was stellar. It was. It, it was so was. stellar. It was. I can't. I don't know. I don't know if I can see it again. <laughs> At the moment, it's not like a feel-good movie you no, watch no. over and over and over again. But it's definitely a, a movie that everybody should go and see. You know. You know. It, unless you know, seeing children die bothers you a lot, like my dad. But other than that, you know, I I definitely recommend it. It's 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 uh it, it's something that people are gonna be talking about for a very yeah. very long time yeah. and if you don't see it you're gonna be left out so I would totally recommend it anyways tell us what you think and if you've read the book please tell us what um how you what you think about it because I'm I'm very curious to to, to know what people say mm -hmm. uh, about it when they've read the book but anyways um, I'm Katrina I'm Christina and we're, we're the, the gorgeous Geeks. Geeks. Hi, I'm Katrina from The Gorgeous Geeks, and I'm here to tell you that we have some swag for you to buy. Like good, great stuff, like this coffee mug. And what does this say, Katrina? It says, yesterday's science fiction is today's science facts. Ooh. Ooh. Tastes like geeky. <laughs> <laughs> you can go and buy cool t-shirts, like this nice cool white tank top that says Gorgeous Geek on it. You know you want it. And you can dress it up like this. Or this. Or this, or even like this. I'm getting chilly. Hmm, geekiness. <laughs> or this. No, you can't see it, but it's still there. So go to thegorgeousgeeks.com and buy some swag. Go to thegorgeousgeeks.com to get other t-shirts, keychains, and other cool geeky swag that will keep you looking fly and still representing your geeky pride.